Dante Tank Davis. Let Shakur Stevenson. Devin Haney, no. Y'all ain't built like that, bro. Surrounding this Javante Tank Davis, Lamont Roach fans. We already cooked the Devin Haney fans and they wait. See, y'all some hate, bro. Y'all hate Tank. Devin and Shakur fans, y'all really hate that man, bro. It's crazy. We already cooked Devin Haney fans yesterday about this whole wait shit. We focused in on them because oh, Tank won't go up to 140 and fight this guy. He fighting Lamont Roach at 135. He a hoe. But you won't. People to do the tank what Tank is doing to Lamont Roach, but when they do it, they warriors and shit, they real. That's what Tank should do. But when Tank do it, he a coward. But if they doing exactly what he doing, and he a coward for doing it, shouldn't they be a coward for doing it? We already cooked Devin Haney fans. Cooked, sauteed, grilled, fried, roasted, all that shit. Shakur Stevenson fans, we looking at you today. I've been seeing you. I've been watching you. I've been letting you type your comments. Well, enough is enough, goddammit. Smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Realest in the game, bro. Best in the game, too, if I may say so myself. And please donate to the channel, man. Hit the super chat. Hit the hit the, hit the the cash app. Hit the, hit the super thanks. Show your support, man. We work hard over here every single week, every single day, bro. So support your boy. And if you want to debate me, man, I'm live tonight, 7.30 p.m. Central Time. Hit the link. Hit the link. Or you can email me to set up a formal debate. Knockoutboxing86yahoo.com. Let's get to it. Shakur fans, we looking at you. What you hating now? Oh, Tank Davis fighting Lamont Roach. Who beat Lamont Roach? Who beat Lamont Roach? Did Jamel Heron beat Lamont Roach? Jamel Heron beat Lamont Roach. So Tank Davis versus Lamont Roach is trash. Tank Davis beat Tank Davis fighting Lamont Roach and Lamont Roach lost to Jamel Heron. So Tank Davis and Lamont Roach is trash. He doing the same thing y'all was getting on to Shakur for. He he doing the same thing, KO. That's the same thing Shakur did. But you were cooking Shakur, but you ain't got no energy for Tank. You was cooking Shakur for fighting Artem. Because Artem lost to Frank and Tank was fighting Frank. So why you ain't cooking Tank for fighting Lamont? Because Shakur beat Jamel Heron and Jamel Heron beat Lamont Roach. Why you ain't cooking them? Why you ain't cooking them? Y'all think I'm stupid, huh? Let's break this down since y'all want to start. See, bro, y'all will start. When I say shit like Shakur Stevenson fans are starting to sound like Devin Haney fans to me, this is what the fuck I be talking about. When I, when I say that shit, bro, I don't want you to be talking tongue in cheek because I have a very good memory. I remember all the narratives that people push and the narratives that Devin Haney fans push are starting to sound like Shakur Stevenson fan narratives, bro. Real talk. Now, key difference. Key difference is Lamont Roach lost to Jamel Heron years ago. Matter of fact, matter of fact, Matter of fact, let's do this live. Let's let's do this live. Let's do this live real quick. Lamont Roach. Let's do this live on the video while I'm shooting the goddamn video. Lamont Roach, he Roach. Let's see now. Lamont Roach lost to Jamel Harry November 9th, 2019. Five years ago, he lost to. Jamel Heron. He has had time to get better. He has had time to become champion. He has had time to defend his belt. How can you compare that to Artem, who literally lost the fight before Shakur Stevenson fought? How can you compare Tank fighting Lamont Roach to Shakur Stevenson fighting Artem Harner and Tuna Harner Tootin? Harner Tootin? How can you make that comparison with a straight face knowing? That Lamont Roach has had multiple fights since then. He has worked his way back up. And then he... Hold on. Hold on. Hold up. Let's look up something else. 
But anyway, as I'm saying that, he has had multiple, multiple years to get better. He's been on a win streak since then. And became champion. Shakur Stevenson fought Artem coming directly off that loss. Artem didn't have time to build himself up. It wasn't years ago. It was literally the fight before. Why, why y'all act like y'all don't know the difference? Bro, why do I have to make this video to do y'all like this? Like, you don't already know this shit, bro. You got access to box rec like I do. You know when the fights happen. You probably watch the fights and shit like I watch the fights. How can you compare what happened to Lamont Roach and Jamel Heron in 2019, five years ago, to what happened with Artem and Frank Martin, which happened literally the fight before Shakur fought Artem? Then you went so far. So there's that shit. Stop the cap, bro. Stop, stop the cap. Okay? So, yes, I maintain the point. Shakur Stevenson fought the nigga that lost to the nigga that Frank Martin just beat. And Tank Davis knocked Frank Martin out. Yes. That is completely different than Tank Davis fighting somebody that Jamel Heron beat five years ago. Lamont Roach has gotten better. Lamont Roach has gotten more experience. He is a better fighter. He is a champion. Like He has done all these things since the loss to Jamel Heron. Artem didn't have shit, didn't have time to do shit because Shakur fought his ass coming right off a goddamn lot. Then y'all, Big Dog Willie, I appreciate your support, bro. But if you put in my chat one more time, trying to compare, you in Blunt Sports, if I see one more fucking time, y'all trying to compare Lamont Roach to Joe Cordina, bro, I'm timing y'all out for five minutes minimum, bro. Minimum. If y'all do that shit on tonight's live stream, five minutes minimum, you timed out. See you later, sir. I got to do it. Because, number one, again, Lamont Roach lost to Jamel Heron five years ago. Joe Cordina got knocked out by Anthony Kakase literally this year. He has had no fights to get better. He has had no fights to show you he has improved. He got his ass knocked out, and Shakur was just about to fight him. Just like he did Artem. Lamont Roach is a champion coming up from 130. Joe Cordina was not a champion coming up from 130. Lamont Roach is coming off of a wonderful performance at 130. Joe Cordina is coming off a trash ass performance at 130. When you speak from hate and you don't do your research and you don't think of the rebuttals to the shit that you're saying and how somebody can just make your shit not make any sense at all. These are the types of videos that you get where you just get shitted on and you don't have a comeback for it, bro. Shakur fans, so stop it, bro. Yes, Lamont Roach lost to Jamel Hammond years ago and has gotten better. And yes, Shakur Stevenson stopped Jamel Hammond. Had a wonderful performance against Jamel Hammond. That has nothing to do with Tank Davis in Lamont Roach. Because I could argue since Jamel Heron only beat Lamont Roach by, was that a split decision I saw? Was that a split decision I saw? No, that was a UD. 117-111 and 115-113 in 2019. But what if Lamont Roach had an opportunity to fight Jamel Heron? Two years later, when Jamel Heron was 35 fucking years old, maybe Lamont Roach can get him. You never know. The point is, you can't compare the two. You can't compare Lamont Roach to goddamn Joe Cordina because Lamont Roach built himself up coming off of his loss. Joe Cordina still ain't fought after getting knocked out. And Jamel Heron didn't never come close to knocking Lamont Roach, Lamont Roach out. Joe Cordina got slept and body, bro. Completely different, though. And if you want to do that, if that is what you would like to do, then we can talk about the performances and the fighters that Shakur Stevenson has fought. If you want to talk about Shakur's best win at 135, in my opinion, Edwin De La Santos. If you want to talk about Lamont Roach losing to Jamel Heron, do y'all want to talk about Edwin De La Santos losing to, to motherfucking William Foster? Do we want to start discrediting Shakur Stevenson for Edwin De La Santos' victory? 
when Edwin De La Santos lost to William Foster? But weren't y'all trying to say that Tank should fight? Motherfucking Edwin De La Santos coming off of a loss to Shakur? Coming off of a loss to William Foster? Hmm. Uh, Edwin De La Santos has never been a world champion. Hmm. Weren't y'all saying that shit to me? Shakur Stevenson fans. Quit trying to grasp for straw. Tank Davis fights people coming off of their best performances. Shakur Stevenson fights them coming off of their worst. There is no comparison, ladies and gentlemen. None whatsoever, bro. Another narrative, a bonus narrative, if you will, to end the video is, <laughs> y'all can't say Tank Davis don't fight black athletic fighters no more, haters. Ain't that what y'all said? He only fight flat-footed Mexicans, K.O. If your name ain't Garcia, if your name ain't Lopez, if your name ain't Jimenez, if your name is not Nunez, if your name is not Romero, if your name is not, I can't think of no more. <laughs> I can't think of no more, bro. Centillion. <laughs> if your name is not Rocha, if your name is not Barrera, then Tank Davis will not fight your ass. Then he go get your ass a Martin and a Roach and a Black and a American and a Athletic. Now y'all don't want to say that shit no more. Now y'all trying to move the goalposts on down the line some more. Look, man, at the end of the day, Lamont Roach is not the fight that we want. He's also Tank Davis' fourth option. So I'd rather Tank Davis stay busy. Y'all stop all that hating and shit, bro. The comparisons y'all making between Lamont Roach and Shakur Stevenson's former opponents don't hold any weight and they don't make any sense. If they did, y'all would hit the link and get out the comment section. You won't do it, though. You're going to stay right there where it's safe and talk shit in the chat. You and I both know it. We'll see y'all soon, though. Peace. Javante St. Davis. Let Shakur Stevenson... Devin Haney know you. Y'all ain't built like that, bruh.